is recording. Guys, uh, okay, well, um, we're coming to the end of the season here. Bit of a precarious situation. My theory was that they were going to extend the super sigil chests like they did last time, beyond what they said they would. Uh, apparently, they decided to pull a switcheroo, and they are now... I was under the impression that they did, but that's fine. Be that as it may, they're gone. Not that they were any great shakes yesterday, because I did record on my phone the opening of several sets of gold chests and a number of... At the end of this video, all the chests we opened while getting my Mia 10 and your uh, Gorgel will be... You'll be able to see the comments. But like in the London fog. And yes, go ahead. What was in all the gold chests and super sigil chests and the bronze chests that were opened during that process. That was all during different times, though, but like I said... It was I, all within the last two days. <coughs> they were still at different times. <clears throat> because one of the theories was that earlier in the day, you probably stand to get more sigils because they're a little less well, given out yet, but that's a theory again. One theory was there was a set number of sigils given out every day. And if you were early, the early bird, you got the one. Um, and then towards the middle of the day, they would start like tapering off, and then at the end, if they hadn't given off enough, they would start to really ramp it up. I didn't really see that. No, I didn't see that either, and I would gotten them as early as 8 in the morning and as late as like after 10 at night. Yeah, yeah. so we didn't know. Yeah, it was all like mediocre to stank shit. You know, well, no, I, uh, a couple of times it was good. There but were some really good ones. There were some really twenty percent. Um, well, that's like I opened a set of bronze chests and got one hundred and twenty. That was a unique phenomenon, Sigils. and I've gotten you've gotten yeah, yeah. I think eleven hundred eggs. I've gotten a couple of times yeah. in bronze chests, but that's like so. I you can't go by that. That's a vast outlier. Yeah, yeah, those are outliers. Um, just like last time, last season, they had the 450 sigil that was an outlier mm -hmm. um, that was very rarely given. Um, uh, and they didn't have that at all this time. Mm -hmm. So what we're going to do now is we are contemplating <coughs> getting so many yes. more We were thinking, of, yeah, go ahead. Because you have most of, say, all of and all of a praxis. Well, and all of a praxis. I got him at half price. At yes. half price, he was debatably worth it. Yeah. Debatably. At half price. Um, so you are a much closer than I am. But you're not far off either because... I am not even to platinum on Aster. Well, we'll see. The thing is, if I may, there were debates out as to whether Aster is the better hunter mm -hmm. than Morphos. Uh, people who've gotten Morphos have said that he's much better than Aster. So some people swore by him, some mm -hmm. people swore at him. Yes. And many people are saying he's just simply not worth it. So if he is better, he could be better than Astor, but is he worth the expenditure? Right. Because like we said in an earlier video, based on some number crunching, calculations, computations, mathematics, arithmetic, scholum, whatever the hell you will, we came to the venerable conclusion that if you were missing from beginning to end one of the divines, and you had to go up to um, Emerald and then get all the um, stones for Morphos. It cost you about eleven $1 hundred dollars. Right. Some people said as little as seven hundred. Some people said as much as seventeen hundred. Mm -hmm. Yes. Be that as it may, it's quite a bit. And so, what I can say right now is, I have gotten my last dragon just up to almost sap, not sapphire, platinum, and I spent two one hundred dollars. Yeah? So it's two hundred dollars right there. Yeah, well that's in this part before we've got new packs and you've got new packs. Right, but it becomes no, expensive. No, this is specifically yeah. for the last event and this event which gave me all the sigils that I had at that point, which I've used to get them. So the eggs you'd also got eggs, I'm sorry to interrupt yeah, you and I've course, got eggs, yeah. yeah. We did it because we needed eggs to get other dragons and we needed speed ups and that kind of stuff. The sigils were uh, secondary and so the last hundred dollar pack I opened up in the last three days but the one before that I opened up over the, the last weekend um, so it was a hundred dollars last weekend a hundred dollars this weekend um, 
One thing I wanted to say, and this is important, if you want my impression, and I can do a separate video on this and explain why, but I can kind of do a cursory review of it here. When is the best time to buy the $100 packs if you're strapped for money or, well, if you're strapped for money, you can't be doing this all together. But what I was going to say was it seems to me that when you kind of kill two birds with one stone or at least bruise them somewhat is during the uh, breeding events. So when you're getting the gold chests or the super signal chests which are no longer available, mm -hmm. you get a lot of eggs. So that's mm -hmm. key to breeding dragons. And if you're breeding your dragons to upgrade your divines, that's the best time to get them. Yeah. And the second best time is during the fortification frenzy because either way you get speed ups because you need speed ups to hatch dragons, especially yeah. when you get some more advanced ones. And you certainly need speed ups during the fortification frenzy. If I was to rank these in order of priority, I would say the breeding is more important because while it's not good to have a weak base and strong dragons, it's better to have strong dragons and a weaker base than a stronger base and weaker dragons, which is called over-leveling your base. Yeah. Some people have gone down that path, and I see players who are over level 300 and they have... What? Okay. Anyway, guys, if you want my advice, that's it. I'm going to go and I'm going to open some chests, see how that goes. Mm -hmm. Where it started, no one knows. Uh, let's see. Okay, record. I'm recording. I'm going into the armory. So the first set of 10 gold chests mm -hmm. I'm getting... Oh, a whopping 125 sigils. That and maybe a dollar will get me on the subway. I did get mystic fragments. I did get 2.2 thousand eggs. That's fucking atrocious. Yeah. Yeah, because if it continues at this rate, I'm not even going to go for more wars. Fuck them and the whore they came in on. I'm sorry, I, I have other vernacular, but in that case it would fit. Okay, let's see. There's a claim bonus here for the gold chests. I'm waiting until the sigils comes up. We're a little, well, superstitious, semi-stitious. Semi-stitious. Yes. This is tea. Mm-hmm. That's good. Okay. I pressed the gold chest that was supposed to be the bonus and it gave me 12 15 hour speed ups. And that was with a delay. Defend yourself. Some trash is attacking me. Some trash is attacking me. No, oh, some trash is attacking me. Anyway, let's see how this goes. Okay, I'm waiting for the sigils to show up on the upper little left hand corner. Yes. Well, so far the eggs have been successful because I wound up getting over 30,000 eggs towards my next dragon. And once I breed Avalanche, and we have videos on that, the second Garnet, we already, I already have Zaru, then that'll unlock over 180 million firepower. But, but, before we get to that, let's see this. Yeah, they're absolute trash. They've reached new highs of low. No, they're trash, hon. I'm not going to go for Morphous. Because I don't even have a single sigil here. I have a shitload of eggs. Gold chest. So, so far in the first opening we had 125 sigils. And in the second we have zero. Let's see for the third. 12,000 rubies now. And let's see how that goes. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Waiting until the sigils show up. Not that it seems to be making much of a difference. There isn't a single set of super sigils again. Guys, you want my opinion? I'm not going for more posts. And players, thousands of you, I suggest you do the same thing.